Temperature measurement for many processes is the primary measurement value in a variety of industries and applications. The measurement of temperature may seem pretty straightforward. However, temperature impacts profits, safety and quality, so measuring it correctly the first and every time is important. Emerson's Temperature Insights is a series of brief training presentations to help engineers gain a better understanding of temperature measurement. All Temperature Insights are based upon the Engineer's Guide to Industrial Temperature Measurement, a go-to guide from Emerson Process Management. The focus of today's Temperature Insight is on comparing and selecting RTDs versus thermocouples. Making the right choice will enable you to save time and money. Let's begin by refreshing your memory on what is an RTD. It is based on the principle that a metal's electrical resistance increases as temperature increases, otherwise known as thermal resistivity. RTDs can be made with wire wound or thin film elements. In comparison, a thermocouple is a closed circuit thermoelectric temperature sensing device composed of two wires of dissimilar metals joined at both ends. A current is created when the temperature at the joined end differs from the temperature at the other end of the wire pair. So, which sensor type is right for the application? There are many things to consider. Asking these three questions will help get you started in the right direction. 1. What is the temperature range you are trying to measure? 2. What is your required sensor accuracy? 3. Is process vibration a concern? Sensors are more susceptible to failure and inaccuracy when used in environments beyond their recommended temperature range. If the temperature of your application exceeds 850 degrees centigrade, it is recommended to use a thermocouple. Generally speaking, RTDs are more accurate than thermocouples. RTDs may be provided with Calendar Van Dusen CVD, constants that allow the RTD to be matched to a transmitter, resulting in extraordinary accuracy. Thermocouples have better vibration resistance than RTDs due to their heavy gauge wires. Thin film RTDs also provide very good vibration resistance and may be considered. In summary, these three common considerations will help guide you to the best sensor for your application. What is the temperature range you are trying to measure? What is your required sensor accuracy? And is process vibration a concern? For more information on RTDs versus thermocouples, as well as temperature basics, engineering, design, maintenance, calibration best practices, and more, order your complimentary copy of the Engineer's Guide to Industrial Temperature Measurement.